So I know I said that I would show you some items that um, I purchased through um, the Wish app to show you that not everything is as it seems with some of these other videos that are ordering things that would normally be high priced and expecting the same quality as you would get for hot, like, you know, buying $100 items for, you know, 20, 30 bucks and being disappointed because of the quality. Um, I've done a video to show you how to be sure that you're buying quality products on Wish. Now I want to do now I'm going to do a video to show you the quality products that I have bought off Wish. I can't promise you I remember how much I paid for everything, but um I promise you I'll show you. And uh there are some companies it is legit on there where they have their stuff manufactured over there. Um the companies are just selling them off on the Wish app, which is, I'm assuming, likely illegal, but it's a hard thing for anybody to do anything about, as some of us artists have learned, because we have had our work stolen and produced in China, mass-produced in China, with crap quality. It doesn't look... The, I mean, you can tell it's the same thing, but it doesn't look the same. Um, a lot of us have been through that and tried to pursue it with n no luck whatsoever. So, um, but that's why a lot of these companies, they entrust these places in China to manufacture their items because it's cheaper and they're turning around and selling these items on Wish and some people think that it's a scam or a hoax and sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. Like I said, I got an actual Yeti. And my husband's was a knockoff. But mine was the real deal. So, definitely, it's not a scam. Some things, yes. But the app itself isn't. There's a ton of sellers on there. There's U.S. sellers on there now. I know Teespring is on there. Um, you just have to really look. And um, I'll try to link my video to how to shop on Wish in the comment sections. And then we'll check it out.